Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are in Proverbs chapter 8, and today we're going to read four verses, verses 18 through 21. And here's our theme. Wisdom, knowing God's wisdom and living in wisdom, leads to riches of all sorts. Wisdom, walking in wisdom leads to riches, but not just financial riches, riches of all sorts. We don't get to choose what the riches are going to be, what the blessing is going to be. But when we walk in God's ways, He's going to bless us. We don't get to choose exactly what the blessing is going to look like, but we, if we pay attention, we'll see the hand of God blessing us as we walk faithfully in His ways. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 8, beginning in verse 18. So God speaks these words through the Scriptures, and He says, With me are riches and honor, riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. In other words, what God gives to you is better than money. It's better than stuff. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me and making their treasuries full. This passage leans into the blessings of God and the riches of God. Sometimes they're monetary. Sometimes there are things that are way better than monetary things. As a pastor, I've sat at the bedside of, of more people than I can remember who have been sick and drawing near death or who are passing away. I've sat with families at the moment that a family member took their last breath. I can tell you this in all my years, in all the, in all the bedsides I've sat by of family members together when someone's drawing near the end, nobody ever asks for their checkbook to show me how much money they have. Nobody ever says, hey, hey, I want to show you my car in the, in the garage or in the driveway and how, how, how cool it is, how beautiful it is. Nobody talks about that stuff. They say, hey, I want to see the grandkids one more time. Or they say, I want to hold the hand of my wife or my husband one more time. Or they want to just reach out to one more friend. There's things that are worth more than silver or gold. And that's part of God's blessings on us. And then also in this passage, it leans into the reality that righteousness and justice, that some of the blessings that God gives to us are not material things. Some of them are spiritual blessings. Some of them are God's protection and watching over us. And so here's the encouragement today. Slow down and notice the riches that God has lavished on you, the blessings that He's freely given to you. And recognize that the more you walk in His ways and walk in wisdom, I believe the Bible is clear that God will more and more open His storehouses of goodness and blessing and pour them out on you. Sometimes they'll be monetary. Sometimes they'll be people. Sometimes there'll be just peace in life. Sometimes it's going to be righteousness and justice. Sometimes it's things way more valuable than the stuff of this world. But notice the good blessings God's given. Notice the riches, riches He's given to you and slow down and thank Him. Thank Him for His goodness and ask Him to give you the power and the strength to keep walking in His wise ways. Living God, this is our prayer today. That you will help us to recognize your lavish, generous, staggering goodness that you've poured out so much on us. Help us notice the gifts that you've given to us and realize that the more we walk in your ways, the more we walk in your wisdom, it just creates an opportunity for you to bless us in more and more creative ways. Help us notice every good gift. Thank you for those things and live lives that are grateful each moment of each day. We pray in your beautiful name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, blessings on you. Have a great day. If you are part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you at church at 9 and 11 online or on campus. If you live in a different part of the country, different part of the world, and you're part of another church, blessings on you. Be part of your church. Serve there. Give there. Love there. And be God's person in that place. Be part of His family. Blessings and have a great day.